Hey guys, welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today we are going to do a no evidence challenge on the original Asylum before they update it to the Sunny Meadows. So let's go ahead and get started. We have Elizabeth Mills. We need her to blow out a candle. We need evidence with the EMF. And we need to witness a ghost event. Well, I cannot do objective three because EMF reader is the evidence equipment. And as you can see, I have removed all evidence equipment and piled it over here so I don't use it because that is off limits. This is the no-no pile, remember that. Uh, but I am playing on professional so that if we see EMF 5 on the chart or if we have freezing temps, those are just kind of freebies because we can't not see them if they're there. And this challenge on uh, Nightmare, I don't want to do it. So professional is good for me. I don't want any hidden evidence, to be honest. It's hard enough as it is. So anyways, let's go get ourselves a breaker. It's down second floor, right in the center by the elevator. So let's go get that on. See if we can't find a ghost quickly. Uh, what cursed item do we have? Not voodoo doll, not tarot cards. Oh my God, it's a haunted mirror. Uh, I kind of want to use that, but let's go get the lights on first. Because if we could figure out, like, the haunted mirror is a little rough to use on these larger maps. Simply because, as the asylum is currently, there's not a lot of variation, and it's kind of a disaster, to be honest. But, you can tell what kind of room you're looking at, so whether it's a bedroom or a storage room. And that'll help you at least decide if you're dealing with a ghost that's on the first or second floor. So that could be potentially helpful in at least locating the correct floor. Let's see. Or we could just get a point six. What was that? Ghosty, are you down here? Oh my god, did I already find a ghost? Oh my god, there's a ghost here. Oh yeah, we definitely have a ghost. Okay, okay. Um, if it's a Moroi, we just probably got cursed. So it'll be easy to tell... Uh, door. It'll be easy to tell if we've been cursed. By going back to look at our sanity once I get the lights back on. Because our sanity rate will be insanely fast if we just got cursed by the Moroi. So that's how the Moroi's curse works, is if you hear response on the uh, spirit box, or if you hear footstep sounds, or a whisper on the paramic, that can curse you. And then your sanity drains ridiculously fast. I think it's like somewhere between 0 0.3 to 0.5% per second until you either take sanity pills or, uh, reach 0% sanity, and that, that's how that curse works, and it's rough. So I'm gonna head back to the van and get some more equipment. Okay. Well, this is- alright, we are definitely not cursed by the Moroi. Uh, but also I'm pretty darn sure that's an EMF-5. So how you can tell if it's EMF-5 is if you see a 4 or 5 spike when you are not in the map, it's like almost guaranteed to be EMF-5. If you are in the map, there could be a 4 or 5 spike, uh, that's caused from a ghost event or ghost ability, so don't always trust that. But if you're outside of the map, it's like almost guaranteed EMF-5. Uh, I think the only exceptions are Poltergeist and the Twins. They can sometimes do things that may look like uh, a 5 spike, but it's not actually. So you definitely want to look for this twice before ruling out a ghost ability. But I think that's EMF-5. But again, we'll kind of keep an eye on that. Uh, what else do I want to take it? Uh, probably crucifixes? Maybe a camera, because if we get a ghost event, uh, actually... Oh, Phantom's not even an option. Uh, we don't care about that then. Let's see, is Wraith is still an option, so we can do a test for Wraith. Uh, I already... I dropped the glow stick down in the map, so we'll go pick that back up. I accidentally lit it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> um, and we can also take in a candle, because that'll, number one, prevent 
Help prevent sanity drain. Eh, if I could just grab this, please. And number two, we can then get that objective, so that'll be nice. Um, oh, Maroi's not even an option anymore with the- Oh, yeah, okay. Let's go. Alright, hopefully the ghost hasn't moved on us. Cause that'd be super annoying. Oh, nope! It's the- Oh, we got freezing temps! Freezing- Well, now that was just rude. <laughs> Have a candle. Uh, and I'm gonna go grab the glow stick, because I dropped it by the stairs. I gotta go pick it up. Oh, actually, wait, no, we don't need to do that anymore. Oh, lol. It's not a wraith. It can't be a wraith. There's no point in doing a wraith check. Right? Assuming, because even if we don't have EMF 5, wraith is still not an option. So Jin, Shade, Oni are the twins. Uh, it can't be an Oni, because the ghost event that we just got, where it's just a big ball of air that hits you, an Oni cannot do that. Just that one specific one. Like, there are other ones that sound similar that the Oni can do. Did you already blow out my candle? Oh, thank you. You are touching these lockers a lot. Eh. I... Oh, okay. Hey, step at the salt. Do it. Do it and you're cool. Do it and you're cool. You really, really like those lockers. Um, so let's see. There it goes. Alright, thank you. Actually, I don't even know why I did that. Was that an objective? No, it wasn't. Either way, the ghost is in here. Lol. <laughs> okay. This feels like a, a cheap no evidence run though, if I get both EMF 5 and freezing temps. That's the two freebies. Let's see. Hasn't really acted like the twins. Like I haven't heard any twin interactions, so most likely not the twins. Uh, could be a shade. Cause I did the ghost breath event and just the shade is uh more likely to do non-physical manifestation ghost events. So like shadow model, translucent model, ghost breath event. Oh my god, that's so fucking loud. Is stump, 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 stump. All right. So I think our best option here is to bring in the crucifixes and see when this ghost can hunt. Cause a shade would not be able to hunt until we are below 35% sanity. Whereas a gin can hunt at the normal 50% sanity range. So, Yep, that's our game plan. Let's go. So far, it has not turned off the breaker, which could be an indicator of a gin, or it's just the ghost hasn't wanted to do it. Like, don't get fooled. The gin cannot turn off a breaker. So if the ghost turns off the breaker, you can immediately rule out the gin. But all ghosts can end up not interacting with the breaker. They're just more likely to interact with the breaker after, you know, a certain amount of time. But I have had many ghosts that were not gins that didn't touch the breaker for like 20 minutes. So we can't really use that. It's basically just if it ever turns off the breaker, we can immediately know it's not the gin. That's how that would work. But let's get this in. I, I haven't seen EMF 5 again, and that's making me a little nervous. Because like I said, Especially since the twin, we do have the twins as kind of an option. Actually, but twins would have EMF 5 too. Ha, lol, just kidding. I'm just nervous that that was some kind of ghost ability, like a poltergeist, since it can throw more than one item at a time, those EMF values will actually stack on the activity chart. So if it throws two items, it can show up as like a activity level six, cause you know, two, EMF3 values added together, obviously, is six. 
but one throw could show up as, e as an activity level two, another can show up as activity level three, and so that would show up as activity level five altogether, and so like a poltergeist can can pull stuff like that, but also it can't be a poltergeist, right? Because uh, freezing temps rules out poltergeist. Let me stare that down. Actually, uh, let's do this. Okay, we still got freezing temps in here. And that. Uh, and then a crucifix, obviously, because if it is a djinn, it's going to be a speedy little devil, uh, so we need to be careful. And also, while I'm thinking about it, free money, actually. I get a picture of the cursed item. Hey, yeah. Okay. I don't want to get any pictures of like doors and such, just on the chance that there are fingerprints, and I don't want to accidentally get those. Um, 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 you. That's what I'm here for. How's our sanity doing? So it's 72%. Again, making me real nervous that I haven't seen EMF5. Eh. Am I getting bamboozled by some weird ghost ability? I don't know. I guess we'll find out, right? It still has not killed the breaker, though. Uh, I went... I, how long have I been in here? Only what, 13 minutes? Okay, but a ghost not turning off the breaker at all within, like, the span of more than 10 minutes is highly suspicious. Um... So as of right now, I think I think I'm leaning towards a gin, because but by, by now, most ghosts would have turned it off at least once. So unless this is just one sneaky little devil, I don't know. But all right, are you still in here, ghosty? Yes, hopefully. Gonna drain our sanity a little bit. Hopefully, these crucifixes actually stop a hunt. <laughs> Ooh! Okay. I just about dumped tea all on myself because I was not prepared for that. Just immediate ghost event. Thank you. I. I. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm pretty sure it's a gin. Like, a shade wouldn't have done multiple ghost events like that. Right? Like, that was so unshade like. Let's see. That was two ghost events. We were at 70% sanity, so we're probably in hunting range now if it is a gin. You gonna hunt me? Do it. What was this ghost name? Elizabeth. Okay, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. Absolutely run. Because it, my sanity should definitely not be below 35%, right? It's a gin. It's gotta be a gin. Assuming I was correct in reading off the EMFI from the chart. If that is not correct, we've been bamboozled. So maybe let's let's go back. Let's let's check our sanity, see what it's currently at. Cause that could tell us more about the ghost, but let's see what the possibilities are if we did not in fact have EMF5. Cause it's highly suspicious that I only saw it once, and now it's not doing anything. Wait, what? That was an early hunt. Wait, okay, it can't be a gin. Wait. Okay. Okay, this is spicy. So I don't think we had EMF five. The, the problem is, is that if we have freezing temps and EMF five, none of these ghosts can early hunt. They can, aside from the shade, all of them are 50% hunters. But the, and then the shade is a 35% hunter, so there is no possible way these ghosts tried to hunt. Because, like, it's not- my lowest it's dropping to right now is 51%. And that's even after 
I've walked back from the room. So like 100% that had to have been an early hunt. So it can't be EMF 5. Because we for sure have freezing temps. We know it's not a Moreau. Because we got whisper, we got footsteps on the uh, paramic. And hypothetically, if what other people are saying is true, that would have cursed us. And we have for sure not been cursed. Like that's that's not an issue. We know it's not this, this. is. Are we getting played by a mimic? Because that might actually make sense because it could have copied a ghost that can do a ghost ability that causes something that looks similar to a five spike. Not a revenant, not a uray, uh, not a hauntu. So it's one of these suckers because those these are the ones that can early hunt. Demon can hunt at 80%, no, sorry, 70% sanity, except in the rare cases that it uses its special ability where it can hunt at any sanity. So I'm leaning towards it not being a demon because it wasn't until after 60% sanity drop. Uh, th th that's pretty late for a demon. So I don't think demon. So that leaves Onryo or the Mimic. And I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards the Mimic because how did it make that little, that four spike? when I was outside of the map. Unless somehow I missed a ghost event, which I don't think I did. I mean, it did have kind of a sudden change of behavior where it wasn't doing much and then all of a sudden it hit me up with two ghost events. So it has a sudden change in behavior. So honestly, Mimic is entirely possible. I'm gonna go ahead and take some sanity pills. Boop, boop. We're gonna go take start taking in candles. What else am I holding? Oh yeah, smudge stick. Because we can definitely do an Onrio test. Because it could very well be an Onrio, and maybe it was just a coincidence that it suddenly wanted to hit me with a whole bunch of ghost events at once. Because, yeah, it definitely it hunted right after we dropped below 60%, which is hardcore Onryo behavior, because if there are no lit candles or fire sources around the Onryo, it can hunt after 60% sanity. So, like, that fits. That checks out. So let's start getting some candles in here. Put one there. Okay. Okay. Put one here, we'll just put it. Where are my freezing temps? Oh, you're still here? Okay, thanks. You really like that locker. We won't start lighting them yet, because uh, if the candles go out and it isn't on Rio, there's a chance that the candles going out without any other flames around it could cause a hunt. Like that'll trigger a hunt for the on Rio. So we wanna be careful, don't light them yet. Let's get all of the candles in there. Or at least, probably, I think three candles is enough for that room. Like, we got lucky that that room is actually quite small. It's nice. Hopefully the ghost doesn't move. So. It's just, it's so weird to me that the breaker hasn't been turned off at all yet. Like, it's still such gin behavior. But, like, it can't be a gin. Jins can't hunt above 50% as far as I am aware. So I I don't know. What was I grabbing? Uh the last candle uh and a lighter would be great. Let's go take this back in. And that's that is why I always say that if you see something you think is EMF 5, always try to second check it. Like, do not t see it once and then just assume you have EMF 5, because weird things happen in this game. Let's get the light on these stairs, actually. I don't know why I have those off. Because sometimes the ghost just does some weird shit that ends up looking kind of like an EMF 5 spike, 
but it's not. That's also why I'm always hesitant hesitant to tell people to look for uh, four spikes. Because while EMF5, if something in the map gives off an EMF5 rating, on the activity chart, it can show up as either a three, four, or five spike. The problem is, is that other things can give off, you know, three and five, or three and four spikes without it being EMF5, and only activity level five can absolutely guarantee eh, that it was EMF5, assuming there was no ghost event going on. All right. Are you an Onryo? Lockers again. There's our freezing temps. I feel like I should have a smudge stick, but the problem is- Oh, I should have brought the smudge stick in first. Because the problem is as soon as you start lighting the candles, you don't want to leave because if you don't get them relit, it can then try to hunt again and use the crucifix. Oh god, candles going out. So for the Onryo test, we are trying to see if the ghost ever uses a crucifix while a candle nearby it is still lit. Because if it uses the crucifix while there is still a candle around, it cannot be an Onryo. Because the Onryo uh, treats candles like a crucifix, but the candle will have... Um, Uh, superiority over the crucifix for the onryo only and so basically you just set up a system where you have candles basically on top of your crucifixes keep all other candles lit as much as possible because if they go out and there is not another candle nearby lit it can trigger a hunt if it is the onryo I've blown out my candles. Do you want to keep them lit as much as possible? Stop touching the door. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You really like that door, don't you? Okay, can you come back in here? Thank you. Yep. Blow out some can- I'm not sure if it's blowing out candles enough for me to think that it's an Onryo. It's touching door- Because, like, all ghosts can blow out candles. It's just Onryos are more likely to blow them out a lot. And this- This feels like kind of a normal amount. Eh. Don't you dare. Could still be out of hunting range, so that's at least good, I guess. <laughs> but if it is the mimic, it could basically hunt at any point, depending on what ghost it's mimicking, so that's kind of terrifying. If it mimics a Deogen, that's gonna be hilarious. Oh my god. Watch the mimic mimic the Onryo. <laughs> What did that be mean, actually? I wonder what our sanity's at. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get let's go get a smudge stick and check what our sanity level is at. It's like at this point, I think I think we are getting the meanest ghost of all on this uh, for this challenge. I think it's the mimic to be entirely honest. Because again, it went from, it, it had that sudden change where it was spamming us with ghost events and then it just quit doing that. And now it's just back to, you know, touching the walker repeatedly. It doesn't seem to be blowing out candles enough to be an Onryo and that was like basically our only other option unless I'm horribly wrong about something here. Oh, there's our problem. Our average is still way too high, even though we've been standing in the dark. So that's fun. Let's get a smudge stick. I guess uh, we can use the... Let's use the cursed mirror for just a split second to help drop that down a bit. 
Oh yeah. Oh really? Is that where it is? You don't say. All right. What did that bring us down to? 73? Okay. That seems like a good good range to hopefully kind of pick up on some activity. Let's see if it early hunts again. It just blew out that last candle. Okay. Interesting. Oh, and there's still one candle lit. Oh, you're totally not on Rio. Okay. Elizabeth Mills, can you give us a sign? We actually... Where are you? Can you give us a sign? Oh, ooh. That was two at once? Uh, that was weird. Is that That's more Onryo-ish behavior. Or it could have just been in between the two of them and blew them out at the same time. Never mind, actually. Any ghost can really do that. Hey, yeah. There's just not a lot for ghosts to interact with in these rooms anyway, so it's like candles are probably the only thing it can mess around with. Well, yeah, ja, 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 to you too. Can you give me a sign? Give me like a banshee scream so then I know for sure you're a goddamn mimic. Where are I mean, be careful what you ask for, am I right? Okay. Uh, so we should be getting below 60% fairly soon. I should probably have my smudge stick. No crucifix being used. No candles getting blown out. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Give us a sign. Oh. Give us a sign, you stupid ghost. Give us a sign. We're waiting. Ghosty, are you gonna hunt? What's going on? Come on, you definitely early hunted earlier. Uh, can you do it again? Show yourself, you piece of trash. I'm not gonna lie, that was like the creepiest door touch ever. Why did that sound so weird? I, d I didn't like that. <laughs> it's just the slow... Hated it. Okay. Right, it blew out the lights. I forgot about that. Locker. Candle. No. <sighs> Candle. Ah! No. Bad ghosty. Power of Christ compels you. Come on, baby. You know you want to try hunting. You know you want to. Come on, I dare you. You shy piece of trash. God, it's gonna mimic like a revenant and just straight up kill me. Are you mimicking a late hunter now? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ghost hunt? Ah, shit. <gasps> oh my god, that crucifix just got used. It cannot be an Onryo. I repeat, it's a mimic. Flee. It's gotta be a mimic. Like, there was our confirmation that it used the crucifix while the candle on top of it was still lit. And an Onryo can absolutely not do that. Ugh. Flee! Run faster! Oh my god, if it's a mimic, I don't want to get hunted. Flee, flee, flee. Flee, flee, flee! Like, mimics are the hardest ghost to identify on no evidence challenges. Because they just keep changing what they do, and so it can be very misleading, especially since if they're just repeatedly changing ghosts and they never do that ghost special ability, you'll never know that they're changing ghost types. 
And like, the worst, best way to honestly identify them is to see their behaviors in two different hunts. And on Asylum, that's like not what you want to do because you'll probably die. Also, yeah, that one was like a normal hunt because that was right after we dropped below 50%. So it early hunted earlier, and now it didn't. So I'm like, it's gotta be, it's gotta be, it's gotta be a mimic. I think we got it. We're gonna go. It's like the best way to check for a mimic is to see if you have more evidence than you should be getting, like checking for the fake ghost orbs. But we can't do that on a no evidence run. But I think, I think it's the mimic because it changed behaviors multiple times. Yes, oh my God, we did it. Ah! Oh, and I didn't have to get hunted at all. Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. I got the mimic. Oh, we did it. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. <sighs> okay, okay, not bad, not bad. 40 minutes, but that's just mostly because uh, mimics are difficult. Uh, but see, look at that, no hunts, and I was still able to tell it was a mimic. And it didn't really give us any specific ghost ability either. So I'm actually very impressed I was able to decide it was a mimic. That was good. That was very good. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for future Phasmophobia content. And go ahead and let me know down in the comments below what other challenges you would like to see me complete in the future. I also like to give a huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. It means everything to me. You guys are amazing. Happy hunting out there.